Hello Aquarians, welcome back to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of December 7th to December 13th. This reading is for all of the Aquarians out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of December the 7th through December 13th. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend, had as much fun, much laughs, and much love as you can. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. If you are, a, um, if this is your first time stopping by, you are welcome to stay. I'm going to shuffle one more time and then I will cut the deck and start your reading. Okay. All right, let's see. Spirit. Oh, Aquarius, what is going on? <laughs> All right, let's see. So you have the Seven of Cups. The Page of Wands, the King of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse, okay. Some of you may be conflicted about something. We have the King of Swords. This is your energy. What is that? Okay, Aquarius. We have the Magician in Reverse. Gemini, Virgo energy. The Knight of Cups in a Reverse. <clears throat> and Spirit, can I have... Okay, that's too many cards. Some of you may be seeking, um, going within to seek some type of wisdom pertaining to this situation. You may feel like you are stuck and you need to make a decision regarding the situation. Yeah. Seven of Swords. So you have the, you have at the bottom of the deck, the Empress card. This is Libra's energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra, have Libra, Libra in your chart or a Libra is in your environment. However, this is nurturing mother energy. This could be your energy if you are um, a feminine watching. If you are a male masculine energy this could be the mother of your children or just someone that is responsible for the home that nurtures children um a libra but i feel like some of you have a decision some of you have a decision pertaining to um nurturing a situation it could be a relationship could be children some of you have a decision to make pertaining to nurturing a mother, the mother of your child, the father of your ch your children. And I feel like you are conflicted about it. There is some type of confusion there. You have a decision to make. I feel like <clears throat> or you had a decision to make. If you, if this is past energy, you had a decision to make. You were trying to um, move forward, take small steps, take action, small baby steps. But I feel like the decision is still on the table. With the King of Wands...
with this King of Wands, I feel like some of you want to get busy as far as um, this relationship or work. Some of you have a decision to make about taking action towards something. It's either we're going to find out as we clarify. You have a decision on the table. I feel like with the King of Pentacles, um, the Four of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, um... I feel like because you haven't made a decision, you're holding back with this four of pentacles. You're holding back, and because you're holding back, the will can't turn in your favor. The will cannot turn in your favor because you are holding back. With this um, king of swords, this could be pertaining to a legal matter. Um, some type of work, institution, school or something that you're holding back on. You're thinking about it moving forward, but you're holding back. You're not giving it your all. With the Magician card... And the, the Knight of Cups in a reverse. Yeah, you're not moving forward. You're not able to manifest what you want to manifest at this time. Something is like... You may need to nurture your ideas. Like something is at a halt right now because you are... You have some type of mental confliction going on. It's like inner confliction. And I feel like you need to turn your back on something. Or you want to turn your back or. Something is not going as you plan. Something isn't going as you plan. So why is this seven of cups here? Matter of fact, no. I want to use um another deck. Okay. I want to use another deck because I want to make sure all of the cards are available to you. Your reading. <clears throat> Okay, so why is there seven of cups here for my Aquarians? Okay, I don't know why they came out like that, but I'll take them. So we have the Page of Pentacles, <coughs> the Ace of Wands, and we have the King of Swords again. So I feel like you were part of, you were put, you or someone, energies could be, Go either way. This could be vice versa. This could be your energy or your partner's energy. Someone was putting forth some effort. Something tangible could have been um, something coming in a mail, a um, text message, a phone call. But something, some type of message I feel like you received or you're going to receive some type of message pertaining to a new passionate beginning. But I feel like this has something to do with like a government agency or something with the government with this king of swords or some. This is your energy, the king of swords. So. Like, you could be getting a message pertaining to a new passionate beginning. And this may be past energy. 
something about a new beginning with something that you're passionate about because this is your energy. Like someone could have called you or emailed you or text you about a new passionate beginning, maybe pertaining to like some type of job or institution. And you have the king and the queen of wands. I feel like with the page of wands here as well, I feel like you wanted to take action or you want to take action. I feel like you want to take action because the king and the queen of wands both represent someone that takes action. If this is pertaining to love, you receive a text message, an email about a new passionate beginning. Someone may want to have sexual intercourse with you. Some truth was spoken and this person is ready to come towards you and either have a higher level of commitment, take action to have a higher level of commitment. They want to speak some truth to you because they've been thinking about you. And they're ready to take action. This person could be um, well-known. They could be beautiful, handsome. Um, but with this king, okay. I feel like because I see two kings and one queen. So this could have something to do with two males, two masculine energies, and a feminine energy. And actually there are three kings here for same energy two kings of swords and two kings of wands but i feel like both kings represents the same energy so i feel like there are could be two feminine energies and two masculine energies but anyway someone was contacted in the past you were contacted or your person was contacted someone was contacted about a new passionate beginning in love or either in work and the, they i feel like whomever whomever sent out the message the call the letter the uh whatever whoever the messenger was they wanted you to take action and you were thinking about it but they wanted you to take action. They wanted you to see eye to eye with them. Now, the king, the queen of wands and the king of wands. Now, we have, this could be a Leo. We have the sun card here. This person makes you happy. You make them happy. Um, but someone could be married. We have the king of pentacles here. That's a, a, a married man. And I feel like this person has a child or a family because there's a child on this um, card. So someone has a child and a home. Yeah. So this, okay, so in the past, this person could have sent you an email, a text message, called you about a new passionate beginning, something um, that they were thinking about having sex. You were thinking about it, and then this person took action. This person, they may want to level up this um, relationship because there is a king or a queen here, or this person is married. That's what I think it is, because the king and the queen of the same suit is a marriage. And then we have the king of pentacles, and that's a married, a married person as well. So someone is married, but they wanted a new passionate beginning with you. Because this is your energy. This is the person sending a message to you. You were holding back or you are holding back. So let's find out why. Why is this four of pentacles here? If this is pertaining to work, apply the energy as it fits to your story. You could be holding back from work. Someone, you could have got a message about, yeah, look at this. You could have gotten a message about work and you decided to not take action and hold back from a new job, something like that, because you um, are have a, a, some type of obligation in a home and it, and it has something to do with children. 
Because like I said, there here's a child in this card. There's a child there. Four of Pentacles. You're holding him back. You're holding back because you don't want to feel overwhelmed. You don't want to be burdened. You don't want to feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. And you have two tens back to back. So I feel like something is coming to a completion. Something is coming to a completion. And it could be something pertaining to this marriage. Because this, this right here, the Ten of Cups represents a marriage. There are two two children here now in this card. So they're, they're, okay, there may be two children involved in this situation and one on the outside, like a, a secret child, like two, two children here within the marriage and then one child, a secret child or something is pertaining to a secret, a secret child. Okay. But I feel like someone is happy with you. Aquarius. Someone is happy with you. And when you held back, and remember, apply the energy as it fits to your story. When you held back, because you held back, I feel like it caused this person to want to leave. Let, let me see. Why is this 10 of uh, cups here in the reverse? Why is this 10 of cups here in the reverse? Okay. Aquarius. Someone wants to leave. It looks like someone wants to leave a family to be with you. That's what I'm saying. Because they don't want to feel overwhelmed. They don't want they don't want to feel overwhelmed anymore. They want to be free. They want to heal and they want something better. They they feel happy with you. We have the star and the sun. <clears throat> but I feel like with this wheel of fortune And you could be dealing with a fixed sign, um, a Scorpio, Taurus, a Leo, or a um, another Aquarius. I feel like the will hasn't turned in your favor. So let's find out why. Why is this will of fortune in the reverse? That's too many cards. But I have one. The queen, because this is a this is the wife, the Queen of Cups, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So the will hasn't turned in your favor because of a Queen of Cups. But so like, and here's the Hierophant here. Here's the Hierophant. So this is definitely a marriage. So we have the Queen of Cups here. The the will has in turn. This person is blocking you and this other person from be, being together. But this person could be a player. The Knight of Wands. They could be in and out, off and on. Here with you one day. Here, this person is bouncing back and forth. Bouncing back and forth. Between you and it may be a couple people, but they're married. Hierophant, Taurus energy. But I feel like this person has overflowing emotions for you with their Ace of Cups. So why is this King of Swords here? Yeah, this person has um over overflowing love for you. Yep, look. This is your energy, the queen of swords, the king and the queen. I feel like this person wants to level up this commitment, but you may want to cut it off.
you may want to cut it off. This person may be um, the Ace of Cups. Yup, this person wants a new beginning with you. They want the truth. They want to cut to the chase, speak the truth about a new a new beginning. So, let me see. Let's see. Why is the Magician card here in a reverse? Why is the Magician card here? Okay. So, either you or them. I feel like it's you. This is Gemini Virgo energy. Someone is unable to manifest balance, reciprocity, give and take. And a higher level of commitment in this union. Because this person is already with someone. And, and I feel like it's not manifesting because they're already with someone. The Knight of Cups and a revised the Knight of Cups here in a reverse. That's why they're not moving forward in love with the Knight of Cups in a reverse. Because they're already with someone. Okay. With the Six of Swords here. I feel like you are going to move forward. You are going to move forward. Because it's not going as you planned. But I feel like this person still wants to work on it with the, the Eight of Pentacles. They still want to work on the situation. Yeah. Yeah. They want a new start. Just the judgment card, Scorpio energy. This person want a second chance. Why? Why is the judgment card here? If this is toxic and they're juggling, why is the justice card here? I mean, the judgment card. Because they don't want to give. You have the six of pentacles. They no longer want to give to two people. I, they want to give to you. Okay. They want to give to you. Yeah, they want to offer you a cup of love. They want to reconnect, rekindle, six of cups. Come in with fast, quick communication. The reason why is because they don't want to be conflicted anymore. And they're out with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're not happy in their home life. They're up at night thinking about you. Anxious. They feel like they're stuck in this situation. Hangman energy. They feel stuck. They want a new stable beginning with you. Give you something tangible. And they are manifesting this. They are manifesting this new beginning. Could be going through some type of transformation. Yep. Spying. So let's see. How would things work out? I feel like this was your this is your partner's energy. Okay. So what should Aquarius do? Should they stay or should they go? Okay. That's too many cards. Should they stay or should they go? Why is there so many cards coming out? I just need one card. Can I have one card, Spirit? Card. Should Aquarius stay or should they go? Okay. Okay. It says absolutely not. Do not stay. Look, Spirit says no. Because I feel like the universe is, the Spirit is saying don't stay. 
because this person is just going to juggle between whomever it is. There's, there isn't going to be any change, and there are going to be game plays. I mean, they have feelings, but that's as far as it's going to go. They're not going to act out those feelings that they have. So, Aquarius, this is your reading for the week of December 7th through the 13th. If the reading resonates with your situation, comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um... If you want to be supportive, uh, subscribe as well. Be safe out there. I'm sending you and your family love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy this upcoming week. And I will see you next time. Bye.